Hello and welcome to the um, G Man uh, Training ga Training Grounds G Match Day Three, kind of Match Day Two. Hi. It's, it's kind of match day ten for the rest of the league, right? So, yeah. um, but anyway, uh, and with me is my usual co-host, uh, Saitalem. Say hello. Hi. Cool. Um, and you have actually watched the games, so um, which yeah. I have not yet. But I think there are two kind of close games and interesting games, and one that was a massacre. But we'll come to that. Yeah. So, um, we start with the most even one or the draw. Okay. On the and... Yeah. So, the first game would be the failed gimmicks Lefe 75 against Joxe's Swamp of Sorrow, the halflings against the, uh, the Nurgle. Yeah. yeah. And I think the first thing we can notice is that both score two times, so they might have listened to, listened to us and really focus on scoring early. Mm -hmm. So the game was overall quite close. Mm -hmm. Start with the rocks that killed the water on the LOS. And then another Nurgle player got removed. But the humans, uh, it was a short kick and the humans are kind of unlucky. Last week they f uh, failed the first pickup and this week again. Again with the reroll and still no the ball and then there was a lot of chaos. Sorry, I, I said I said halflings. It was humans. Sorry, it's the the failed gimmicks. I've, I've uh, you know I've now permanently joined that idea to the hail mary pass and diving catch halflings, <laughs> but it's not. Yeah, okay, it's the humans. Sorry. So, so the game already started with the chaos because it was a short kick. Mm -hmm. The human mm -hmm. failed the first pick up. And, yeah. and there was a lack, a uh, lot back and forth and. Uh, at the end, the humans got away. There was a beast of miracle uh, for some time next to the ball, and, and the ogre had to flip it off, and it was quite quite some chaos, but the humans were able to score at turn six. Mm -hmm. Then there was a lot of bullshit for the nurgle. <laughs> they were in turn, at turn eight in a position where they actually shouldn't really score. They took all the hits first because they thought like, they should be able to score. And then they rolled two sixes and a four for dodges and scored anyway. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and it's one one. Yeah. That's always good when you, you don't expect it to, to work and it does. As opposed to normally when you, you expect things to work and it fails. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of ridiculous. It, was, it isn't actually that, that ridiculous. You can always find six it, but when it happens and no one expected it, just. Yeah, that just happened. Yeah. Um, the second half wasn't that interesting. Like the Nerve were able to occur kind of early. They removed the Ogre, and I think that might have led them to scoring, but then the humans are faster and they scored back. and. It basically was a game 2-2. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fair result. The humans got a little bit robbed with the score, but you can maybe look at the SPP now. Yeah. I think most yeah. teams should be rather happy with it. I think there were no no perms in the game. So uh, well, there was a rotter that got uh, minus armor. Yeah. yeah, I don't count rotters. Like... <laughs> no SVT rock what has the same as no injury. <laughs> yeah. Um and another one got MNG, but that is that's what I, I would yeah. count that as, as no arm no injury as well. Um level ups we have a pesta level, so I expect might have blow, but we can see. A pesta uh, on, on, on the Pestigor, the Pestigor's got dodge and sure hands, so I think it would be block because yeah. you know, it's the ball carrier, right? Uh, as Talked about the humans first, but we oh, sorry. No, we can we can look at Nurgle first. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So the blitz and the, it was just the lucky MVP that leveled up the the blitzer. So still still scoring the touchdowns on the catches, even though they're all. Ah. Okay. Now we're at humans. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, so yeah, the, you think the blitzer got mighty blow? All right. 
it's the thing you want. Now you have a killer, mm -hmm. or the start of a killer. He was looking nice, but... Yeah. Mighty Blue yeah. is a bowing and good choice, so not really much to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they, they, did they have inducements in this game as well? Did you see any? Uh, I think in this game I didn't write anything down. So they didn't. They didn't have a wizard that you noticed, and therefore uh, maybe they got another reroll because they had. They had like two hundred TB of difference, I think. Oh, uh, wait a second. I can check it by having a look at the stats. Good down the decent for the other game. I didn't actually look it down. Hmm. Might be that they had two plates. No, oh no, it was. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, they definitely had a TV yeah, difference, yeah. though. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, I didn't look it up. No. Did, there wasn't a wizard. Oh, I'm blind and missed it. Or they did a. Um, maybe they got an, a second apo. Against Nurgle, right. maybe they were afraid of taking damage. But anyway. Okay. Now to the Nurgle team? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nurgle was lucky level 3 players. Mm -hmm. Having two level 3 warriors is nice. It's really nice so early. Yeah. Block, yeah. block next or? Uh, he, uh, one got a claw and one got block. Ah, okay, nice. Yeah, so the killer is nice. So I think his idea is he wants one one killer and one con consistent plant. I think that's okay. Yeah. But also, and you know, what what one killer for hitting AV seven and one killer for hitting bigger than AV seven, right? You know. Yeah. yeah. And on the festival, he got extra arms. I actually not a fan of that. I Ooh. would have taken block. Yeah. More just safer, and if you get AG four. Extra arms is wasting. Wasted and block is just so good in the carrier. But it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's surprising uh, though. But you know, yeah, but like. It's not a terrible choice. It's just not the one I would have picked, but it's okay. I mean, when, you th when I think about ball carriers, I think about, yeah. uh, you know, not being hit down, and the main skill for not being put on the floor is block. So, you know. Yeah. But I also picked uh, Kick of Return before Block and came, so I can understand picking other things first. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think mm -hmm. the idea is you usually expect that your board carrier isn't going to be hit. I love I love that it's argument. Uh, <laughs> that, that argument is used so much for so many different things <laughs> and it's uh, in, in lots of different ways as well. But, um, you know, yeah. I, I don't protect my ball well enough <laughs> is, the, is the answer for that. <laughs> no. I think that there's value in that argument mm -hmm. for, specific, for specific teams that you just always catch against the team mm. that are actually going to hit a ball. And so dodge is nice because, because you are allowed to dodge away in some cases, but block is worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I expect, uh, regard, uh, regardless of that, I still expect to take block as the next skill unless you want to set up. Yeah. Probably even before another double. Like, I think block is better than sidestep. Yeah. And he's got access to stand firm as well. It's like... Um, hmm. But, you know, as you said, kickoff return for slow teams makes a very, you know, big difference, right? Hey, Toby. Oh, hi. We are just at the first game and it's not yours, so... It still isn't good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we can go to the next game. Cool. Actually, so um, I haven't sorted out yet, but um, we could do the the predictions. So the predictions bot is oh, up yeah. in the uh, in the channel, and I'm not just doing this just because um, I got it right, but. <laughs> you got it right. I got it right. <laughs> uh, PG, G predictions. Okay, I'm gonna try. Together with Socklock. Pardon? I got it right. Together with Socklock or no? No idea how to pronounce his name. Oh, Zog. Yeah, uh, Zoglug. 
Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find the thing. Uh, uh, that one. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, just because I got it right first, I'll put myself up first. And I get one. And Zoglug also gets one. Yeah. Whoops, that's a bit big and mm. stuff, but you know, it works. Yeah. <laughs> I will add in other names as they occur. As um, they get points. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the next game was um, the. Ah, in fact, it was Toby's. Yeah, it's bloody massive. Thanks, Toby. That, that's what all the girls say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next game was, in fact,. <laughs> Toby's game against Rideable Llama, which and everyone calls it light. So yeah, lots of names to type. Yeah, so ca carry on while I uh, well, <laughs> describe the game. I mean, it... okay, so... that game was a massacre. Yeah, plain and simple. Um, turn one was okay for the underworld, and after that it got bad. <laughs> <laughs> One turn of okay. <laughs> so the underworld had Vlad, a bribe, and a chainsaw. Mm -hmm. And turn two, they lost Vlad. Mm -hmm. uh, after mm -hmm. that, they tried to chainsaw the edgy four wolf, held the GFI, chainsaw was, uh, the, uh, chainsaw was out. Uh, the ball carrier got sandwiched between the two wolves. Yeah. The turn after yeah. that. After that, he got removed, mm -hmm. and the um, <coughs> underworld were, uh, no, not the underworld, the necromantic were able to score, mm -hmm. and then, I don't know, then there was a big and force, and then uh, White of Lama made his one really notable play. He got the ball right back after he lost it before mm -hmm. and tossed it to the necro half, so they couldn't score. Or could have ended 0 4 without that play. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. And the second half was just not really noticeable. Yeah. The underworld lost players each turn <laughs> and it ended with a legal concede. So. Well, I mean, um, yeah, yeah. S seven players cast, four yeah. players sent yeah. off. That's, uh, you know, that's that's pretty, pretty harsh. Yeah, and. As you can see, MVP on Glad is terrible. Two SPP on the armor busted player, it's just terrible for the underworld. Yeah. It's... yeah. Nothing but the team getting worse, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, whereas Toby managed to get 14 SPP on one single wolf. Yeah. <laughs> he leveled both wolves up again. That's exactly what he wants. Maybe he'll finally get block. Oh no, wait, wait. Um, I think, did he say that this werewolf rolled Adji up again? Uh, I, I think, we yes. Can just look at the team. We now have an Adji 5 werewolf. Okay. <laughs> That's hot, terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Maybe. Now it's we're in chat. And you want to earn. And if you can't, you have to learn it. Yeah. I mean, you know, you kind of have to, like, one turning with Necro is not that hard. You know, it's like, it's like humans where the worst bit is dodging past people at the end, usually. And SG5 makes it really easy. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it should just be scoring for fun. Give him catch next. Ignore ignore block. Just give him catch and make him run. Yeah. <laughs> That's a waste. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wasn't being serious. <laughs> but yeah. Dodge. Dodge next then. How yeah. about that? Um, block on the other wolf is also nice. Yeah. He has a really nice killer and a really nice ball carrier. Generally a good team. And by the Belama. Question is, did he buy a... Did no, he... he didn't buy a stadium. 
What's idea? He's, he has spent his money though. Yeah, but I'm not sure on what he's. Replacement ah, players? Replace uh, a Blitzer. Mm -hmm. The other Blitzer is MNG. Oh, okay, yeah. Really sad team to watch. So he must have, he probably didn't do very well in winnings then as well. Because, oh no, uh, no, he got 50, he got 50,000. <laughs> Bless you. I think Thank you. he marked, did he spend some 440? He got a bribe, you said. Yeah. Um, oh. No, okay, fine. Um, he must have spent some money before the game getting another player as well, maybe another goblin, because he was on eight, he was on eighteen hundred before, and he he's earned fifty k and it's disappeared somewhere. So I think he bought a goblin as well, possibly before the game. Okay, uh, yeah. So that's that game. Yeah. And everyone predicted that correctly, right? So I need yep. to uh, add everyone in. So while while I do that, um, are you going to talk about the last game, which is the Frankfurt Fumblers winning against the uh, Undead? Which I yep. I have a feeling not many people guessed that one. Uh, only. Um... Banken guessed that one. He trusted in his halfling and he was right. Yeah. It was an interesting game. Like, I think the one spoiler I can give is that the halflings outbashed the undead. Mm -hmm. So that suddenly played a role. The halflings had a chef, a, uh, a wizard, and Puggy. Yeah. And. Kinda seems it's a rule now. People fail the first pickup. It happened in this game again, mm -hmm. and then the halflings got the ball, and then there were a lot of scatters, one way or the other. Um, Zoglak did a really nice chain post to push a down uh, right next to the halfling ball carrier, so he could play with the ball, and then there was. Still a big uh, running around the ball was one time on the ground, one time the undead hit him, one time the halflings. Then he got out of bounds, bound, mm -hmm. and uh, was thrown from the crowd six times or even more. It was quite funny to watch. But yeah, then at the end, uh, the undead tried to pick up the ball, failed, and then finally the halflings scored the first half. And the really important note is the halflings knocked out four players, mm -hmm. and none of the KOs came back. Uh... The undead were in a really bad uh, position. Yeah. One of those games. Uh, yeah. And now we are in the halflings uh, half, so, so they only had to do nothing and still won. Yeah. 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 And then uh, one thing I want to notice: the clock fouled. Which he didn't do last week, so he might have lis listened to us. Yeah, where but, he fouled the but he fouled the tree. Out <laughs> an assist, it got sent off. <laughs> but fouling is nice, but tree is yeah. usually the worst yeah. player to foul. Yeah, usually the aim is to foul. So he actually he said in Discord he'd been like he'd been trying to foul more, and he and he said he had watched the the recap. Um, you know when he started talking about that, so he definitely uh, he definitely watched. He definitely wanted to take some advice about it, as it were. Uh, but yeah, if you're going to foul, you want to get your you want to get the person you're fouling down to at least like effectively AV six, so he's more likely to get uh, injured. And then you have like maybe a twenty percent chance of removing him, whereas uh, you know sorry of casting him, whereas the chance of you being sent off is almost. 30% at that point. So uh, it's still it's still dangerous. And you know, it's a it's a you choose a better player that you want to get removed, right? That's the thing. 
Or sometimes you also just want to fall if the sun is good enough for you. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, some players are so dangerous just not being able to act for one return is worth it, even a cent off. I mean, yeah, and also the idea of, uh, you know, uh, like uh, having 14 players and having a player sent off in a drive where you expect to let the opponent score anyway is not such a big deal and yeah. might result. It's worth the risk. Um, and especially if you've got something like Toby's piling on Wolf. Um, yeah, you fire that every time. You fire every time just to make him think more about whether he should be piling on with it, you know. Even and if it, even if it's a bad idea, you know, in purely mathematical terms, it's often a good idea in psychological terms. Yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. and after that, uh, uh, under the, the halfling sold back mm -hmm. with four assists on a mummy, and the mummy mummy. <laughs> oh. That's uh, blood for is an unfair game. We all know that. We all love it because it. Yeah. That and we yeah. all hate it because. But nothing permanent, though. Just you yeah. know, just off the pitch. Yeah. But you know, rem so. removing a mummy in a in a, a matchup, even if it's just a KO, is or even just a stun. Sometimes, if you stun a mummy and then the play moves away, it's going to be two turns before he's up, and and you and then and, you know, may not be anywhere relevant for a while as well. No. The game was basically over, but the halflings. I think they could have focused a little bit more on the ball because. They had to do, had to roll quite some dice at turn 16. I think it could have been way easier, but the Scott again. And interesting thing to note, the wizard was never used. Yeah. Yeah, he was talking about... I think, actually, did he... Martin had a wizard and didn't use it. Yeah, I think he talked about it in Discord. Okay. Or oh, did he... Uh, did He didn't stream it or something, did he? No, I don't think so. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um... I might have, no, I think I, I think I turned it, I watched it on Cabal Vision, like the last, the last bit of it, because it was talking on Discord, I think. Um, but anyway. I think for this game, there were no level ups. I noticed. Oh, no, there were two. Yeah. Two halflings leveled and none uh, of the undead. Uh, the undead made four, made attempts at four passes. Um, was that vanity passing? Was that trying to do safe leveling up? passes or uh, I don't you don't remember no. I didn't look at that no. perfectly but I can't say I hope so considering considering they were against halflings and had tackle you'd expect more than one Kaz uh, no uh, the, ah the bite was removed turn two. Oh, okay the oh one of the KOs set out for the rest of the game yeah <laughs> like, the halflings really outbest them yeah but just with KOs and KOs yeah. not returning. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So a niggled halfling is almost certainly a firing, I assume. Yeah, I think so. Too. And a block halfling. What do you give a block halfling next? We can just look. I'm we not have... sure. Anyway, I don't know. Halflings. And a, no and a normal. I have no idea. So I guess the other one's getting diving catch to replace the diving catch who died. Uh, and no, he got um, diving tackle. Uh huh. That can be quite annoying. And the block halfling got catch. I think he's all about that passing play. Yeah. <laughs> Ach, uh, it's, it's an interesting strategy, and I think it's quite good because with halfling you have to have to gamble. Like yeah. if you try to play a solid game, you always. Lose. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You have to do cr slightly crazy things as halflings. That's oh. that's and 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 you kind of win through having so many halflings that when you throw enough of them into problems, eventually one of them wins. You know, one of them does it. You just want to create chaos on the board. Mm. Mm. Of course, having a cheap chef is kind of helpful too. Yeah, steal your opponent's rerolls is the other game plan. Uh, four rewards this game and it probably did something or of course did something. Yeah. That's and really ruin teams. That's pretty good. No, but 
Oh, all the game for the undead was okay. They got uh, eight SPP, but not a lot. But they didn't lose any players. So mm -hmm. It's annoying, and especially against halflings, you usually want more. It's yeah. acceptable. You can live with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so should we move on to what to next week's games? Yeah. So uh, the Shikar Ghoul Bears. Uh, Zog, uh, Zoglug's Undead are facing Swamp of Sorrow. Uh, the uh, the ne the Nurgle. Yeah. So. Um, Nurgle getting claw is really big in this game. Yeah. Can do a lot, and the other thing is Nurgle really makes player scared. Like if you have a claw pump, uh, claw mighty blow player, people are really scared and try to play around. Them. Yeah. Even if he doesn't remove things, so. Well, uh, Zoglog has a bit of spare cash as well. So, I wonder what he's going to do with that. Maybe it's time to buy an enhancement. <coughs> I don't know. Yeah, probably. Not sure. Probably just security gate for undead, or do they want? No, uh, I don't know. Maybe like, like for me, I'd just be buying it to save money. I don't really, I don't really tend to go for security gate or the other kind of the common, you know, uh, things that people hate. You know, rocks and riots. Um, I'd kind of like them. <laughs> um, yeah, so I tend to get like elf grass or astro granite, depending okay. on just because I like the way they look. Okay, that's All right. Look at it. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, I tend to play teams where you don't have to. You don't have a choice. You know, where you don't save up with that much money. Um, no. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what... just, just a stadium enhancement. Mm. I don't think he wants another player. A bench of two is nice. Yeah. It's too early for a bigger bench. Definitely. Way too early. Yeah. Um, but he, I think he should spend it because if he does, then he'll only be giving 10 TV of inducements to the Nurgle. Yeah, is he? They are 70. But they are. Of 70. They have a 10 player. Uh, they only have 10 players. Oh. So. Okay, yeah. Uh, a, a rotter. Um, yeah. Loner. And mm. 20 off the bank means 10 difference. Yeah. I don't think it actually makes a difference because I don't think anyone playing bank game. Like, it's not important enough and. The babe really doesn't change it. Hmm. He could just keep it for safety. Which was, is it his home game? It's it's a it's a, oh. He is at home, so he might want the sta uh, stadium, but could also keep the money and wait for next week. Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't make that much difference, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you never actually. So Juxay could actually buy uh, two players by then, anyway. Like he's got the he's got the money to buy more players. Probably doesn't want the fourth beastman yet. Testicle yet. Uh, not sure. Probably wants more rotters. Yeah. I think you want three rotters just for the LOS. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he, or he could be saving up for a third team reroll, even. Ah, yeah, that's a good point, and probably the, probably what he should do. Mm. Yeah, let the rotters yeah. uh, join the team when he kills people. Uh, yeah. He can get rotters if he kill, yeah. kills a ghoul, right? So um, he needs, needs to aim for the yes. ghouls. <laughs> aim for the ghoulies. <laughs> uh, okay, but who do you think? That's not so easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With so many things in the way, so who but, do you th who do you think is going to win this game? I think it's going to be a uh, one-one. Boring, but 
I think if anyone is going to win, it's the undead, and unless the Nurgle really murders. I really can't see the Nurgle outscoring the undead in a normal game. Hmm. I think it's just the one one four. It it scores on their own half, and that's it. I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna put my neck out and say that the undead win. Okay. Just because I think you know the the ghouls and the speed should be enough. I don't think the Nurgle are quite killy enough. If you know what I mean. They have three mighty blow and the claw, so they are quite killy already. Yeah, but undead are the team that can take being punched. You you know usually right. Yeah. You've, you've got regen. Yeah. You've got a lot of of zombies okay. to throw into the way. And the undead have four mighty blows, so that's also also quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, and more spares. And the bench. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I, I think yeah. you might be right, but I'm going to start, uh, stay with my draw. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so the next game is Toby's Kenwood Wraiths against Drunken's Frankfurt Fumblers. Okay. <laughs> now, this will be interesting. Yeah. Uh, 250 <laughs> TV of inducements. Drunken really impressed me in his last two weeks, mm -hmm. so I could see him having another ups, but this, uh, this Neko team is really, really good, and he tackle claw pump, uh, claw pump claw. I really can't bet against it, but uh, if, it, if it would be a draw or even a win for Drunken, I would be surprised, like I think he knows how to play halflings. Yeah, but as usual, it's halflings, so there's yeah. there's so much luck involved that uh, you know they're probably not going to win. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think this 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 necro team should be uh, too much for them. I think. Yeah, it's just a good team. Yeah. They can can upset if it's. Especially if the chat forward as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a point. Uh, oh, they still got they've got three re rolls. <sighs> not, not that bad. Okay, yeah. and the last one, uh, Lefe's failed gimmicks, the humans against rideable llamas, absolutely murdered um, yeah. underworld. Yeah, it's. This is going to be bad. This is going to be even worse for the underworld because the humans are. Uh, pretty low TV themselves. They're not giving away much inducements. Yeah. Although they only have 11 players. Uh, it's still th Actually, it's still 300 TV at the moment. Might yeah. Be. <sighs> it's still not good for the underworld. No. They, yeah. they really need any developed players and they have none. Like, Mm -hmm. Every single player they have is level one. Yep. They only have one thrower and one blitzer for this game. It's it's really going to be tough. Yeah. I mean, basically, underworld are very tough to start with. It's just it's just a thing, you know. They're not that good as a as a basic team. It's it's when they get some mutation skills on them and they they start to do some funny things. It can be interesting. But before that, underworld. Underworld are really a team that you want to min max the like, XP. Mm -hmm. Like, you want a nice blitzer, a nice carrier, another nice blitzer, and maybe one or two goblins that have some skills, and then just use inducements. Yeah. yeah. And then you are still not that good. Yeah. They, have, they have some pretty good inducements, but, yeah. um, you know. But yeah, it's. It's unlikely yeah. for them. It's tough for Rideable Lama. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go for. Oh, the... yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, and as usual, the uh, the Discord's open. To... Oh, wait, I should post the the invite thing. Uh, 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 invite. Copy. No. But yeah. Okay, I've put the invite in the Discord as well. I mean, I put the Discord invite in the chat. There yeah. we go. All right. Done? I think we are done. Cool. Um, thank you for joining me again. 
Um, That's my pleasure. Yeah, hopefully we'll do it a bit earlier next time. Um, I, I, you know, I've been a bit kind of out of sorts last week, but you know, it'll be all right. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I will raid someone with uh, my two viewers. <laughs> um, which probably will be Rick Reckless as um, I still owe him a billion you know yeah. people unless actually wait a second is there anybody rebel on no. oh, State Statement is playing Imperium which I must admit is taking up a lot of my uh, time at the moment, but I am going to host uh, to raid um, Rick. Uh, Rick, I can't spell oh, it. So many platform streams at the moment. Yeah, ev happened? everyone's everyone's on lockdown, so uh, you know when you're on lockdown, you 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 stream. <laughs> I don't think that's true. It's true that uh, it's kind of true with Rick that he's he's going to be doing more streaming because he's. Uh, some of his kind of side things are, are not happening. But anyway. And you also have more viewers at the moment. That's because more people stay at home. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, cool. I'm going to raid now. So goodbye. Bye. See you next week. Yeah. Okay, gone. Uh, I should mm -hmm. be watching. But not. Anyway, there we go. All right, cool. Thank you. Sorry it was a bit late. Uh, in the day. No, everything's fine. I'll try and. Oh. Was it, it was it understandable at all? Like, I feel like tongue was pissed. I'm not sure if anyone could understand me. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely understand you. Um, there's a little That's bit of. terrible English. Uh, your English is good. I wouldn't worry about that. But, uh, you know, there's a slight, there's still a slight feedback from uh, the speaker from like what when you're listening to me i think so you can hear okay. me in the background really shouldn't be because i only use a headset uh, it's weird uh but maybe it's on maybe i can hear it in my headset but you can't i'm not i've not actually listened back to the stream so okay talking of which i'm actually still recording yeah.